Howdy doody, everyone. It's Billy Morrow playing another episode of Coffee Talk. Uh, a little preface before we going in here. Um, I already recorded this uh, the day before um, I recorded this. And I, did, I had a good session. Didn't know what was entirely going on. But um, I, after I was done recording and checking all the files, I did not record the video, as it turns out. I got the audio for me talking most of the time, but I had nothing else, so I have to do this all over again. So, um, so yeah, I gotta do this all over again. I might make this one a little bit longer, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, I might just do two days, it might be easier. But anyway, welcome back, more coffee talk. Last where we left off, we, uh, the, the Freya, whatever her name was, was trying to figure out um, what to do with her writing, and she doesn't really have any ideas. And then uh, a couple came in. They were talking about all drama stuff, like, "Oh, why won't your parents? Why won't your parents love me?" And it's like, oh, "You think you got it hard too? My parents don't like me either, but they're also racist, so I don't want to have them as my family." And she's like, "Oh, but your family, your family is still your family." It's like, "I don't. I still just want to be with you, honestly." And she's like, "Whatever," and she leaves. And the elf guy was kind of hitting on me and and uh <laughs> and then he leaves and then the girl felt and then the newspaper writer the girl person freya i forget her name um <clears throat> felt a little bad and i closed the night early because i didn't have half my shit anyway but here we are the next day uh wednesday september 23rd 2020 zombie virus from africa may have reached seattle None of the new Seattle grocery distribution problems harm local restaurants, and the FIRE plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. That may or may not be a plot point. Oh! Also, it's kind of relevant to what's going on today, I guess. Well, it's a little different, though. I think. I don't know. Anyway, time to start the day. Do 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 Good gracious! What is wrong with you, woman? What? Have you been sniffing the black magic? Can't you can't you just enter like a normal customer? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? You have been. Oh, uh, I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? I swear to God. Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me. What are you going to write about? This coffee shop. I will never tell you the secrets of my black magic idea. What? I'm, I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. I will never tell you my black magic secrets. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking for permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax. I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novels versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking... Yeah, of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm... That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about the coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? What do you mean I'm banned? My whole life will be meaningless if I don't come to this coffee shop. What? Just kidding. Ha! Ah, funny joke. <laughs> Please don't uh, harass me. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Oh, speak of the devil. It's the devil himself. All right. So I was... I thought... Because I saw this character on the uh, Tomodachi... Tomodachi uh, app, and I noticed that Georgie is one of the people um, that shows up here. Uh, and I wonder, like, what kind of voice am I gonna do? So, uh, this is the voice I got. 
Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're on high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Blimfirm, no need to be that formal with me. Ha! <laughs> we were both on duty here. Hence the formalities. <laughs> your stuff is... Your... <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, my mind went immediately... When I saw stiff, it just went in a completely different direction, but I'm just gonna ignore that. You are as stiff as ever! Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm all out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah, thanks to your tomodachil, whatever how they pronounce that profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Really? Let's find out. Is he really? Um, sorry, my TV is a little bright. I gotta actually adjust the brightness of my TV so it doesn't look like it's like glaring. There we go. That's a bit better. Right. Um, so Georgie. Wow, he really did literally a wrote just like lactose intolerant cop. Wow. Close friends only, so that's cool. Anyway, uh... Anyway, a cup of sweet healthy coffee, please. You got it, buddy. All right, coffee. No. You want, uh, eh, we'll make it a little sweet. You know what? No, we'll, 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 eh, I don't know what to do. Uh, make it super, eh. Sweet. Uh, you know what? You're a coffee. You're, you're you're a cop, and you're gonna probably be up all night doing all these cop stuff. So I'm gonna give you an extra extra honey because you need to stay up. Stripping out, dripping that honey into the coffee. Yeah, yeah, honey coffee. One coffee with honey for the man on duty. <laughs> duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? Yep, every time. You never know. <coughs> espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. You got it. Complete chocolate milk. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Sweet. Moving that coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to make an espresso. Yeah, yeah. Here's your damn espresso. A starless night. Sky for the screw for the green-haired fairy. Are you a fairy? I'm still not 100% sure. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. She, she doesn't even know either. <laughs> um, this is perfect. <laughs> so how's everything going on the paper, Mrs. Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. <sighs> hey, no smoking! You're not supposed to smoke! Uh, I, well, you're an officer, so I don't want to make any trouble. Uh, she's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. Well, what kind of deal? The kind with the devil. A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at, at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. <laughs> Not that much. Oh. Well, folks, seriously, uh, care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Like black magic. Something like writing her own novel. Not black magic. Not like this play. Uh, um. <laughs> you got balls, I can tell you that. She does. She, thank you. How's that leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Well, good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. Eh, at least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thanks for the reminder. So, yeah, as Blimp Ferb said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway, so technically I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? I'm going to put you under arrest! Well, technically, I will have to- Shit, I don't know why I, I, don't know why I said this. Uh, technically, I might have to arrest you! 
hey, you do it all the time, too. Oh, those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meaning to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. A fact of life, but doo-doo. The facts of life, but doo-doo. I, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, I did the exact same thing before, and it just cracks me up. Just how ridiculous that was. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. <laughs> There's no mention that you like to do other things during your work hours. I don't want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. I better turn my phone on silence. I just go off all the time. Ah! I'm still recording. That's good. Uh, vibrate. We'll do that. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I hope none of that fan fiction stuff that I've been hearing online, like that Death Note light and dark fan fiction. Mm, that's a pretty grisly one, but I do like that one done by that dub person guy. This is a shameless promotion for gold, for the kid with the Golden Dub Productions. I do a voice reading sound thingy, um, voice acting thingy. I read a fan fiction of Light and Dark, The Adventures of Dark Yagami. It's a bad fan fiction. But I do a great job with it, I think. I feel like. I don't know. This is okay. It's not great. It's not perfect. But but you should listen to it when you have the chance. Link in the description below. Uh, I have, actually. Oh, oh right on the... Oh, good God. What have you done? Well, what will it be about? The coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Oh. You're letting her do that. That, uh... No, there's no stopping her. Well, what's wrong? Please don't write anything about a shady-looking police officer who loves to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I would definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a great comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me? Because I can rest you for that, you know that? I would call that a compliment. Is it? Is it? No. Yeah, you should arrest her. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? The firm is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'm using real names. I'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. Oh, that's even worse! Here's the thing. The stories I've heard can only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. Man, if I just let this sit for a while, it seems like he's a chain smoker. <laughs> it's kind of silly. And dangerous for your health. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me another interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... Well, I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him a closure. He never complained that you used the story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least it becomes more popular since the article was published. And now that he's dead, more income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. <laughs> Especially when it's on his grave. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. 
lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more often than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair! Oh, oh, come on! I'm so excited to hear about something real! You think you're not real? Wow. That went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Uh, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. Uh, what about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I felt that I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her co-workers or clients. Helping her friends show up, soap her up, I guess. You gave people. You give people. Co ah, no! Ah, ah, what happened? Ah, I must have hit a button by accident. Um. Okay. Uh. What happened? Uh. You gave people coffee to sober up. You gave coffee to some people sober up. Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, but hot chocolate or just plain water. Oh, that's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my ship. Oh, yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Well, let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay, then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. So long as you disappear into nowhere. Where are my doors? Where are my doors? Anyway, uh, I think it's time I need to go back to my writing. <laughs> no offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. I didn't taint it with anything. Ooh, you're just the best, Blimp Ferb. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination. Imagine you. Yeah. Go on. All right. Before the next thing shows up, I'm gonna pause it real quick and take a sip of water. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Time passes by. On to however many minutes. That should do for the experiment. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, someone's coming. Um, uh, hello there, peoples. Oh, uh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Blimp Ferb. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Place is this is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you want to order anything? Yes. Uh, what do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. You got it, Gala. Uh, coffee and ginger. Gotcha. Um, let's double down. Eh, let's double down with the ginger. Brewing time. Brewing, chopping, all that ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ginger coffee. Woo, woo, woo. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. Do, 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 do. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be your, to your liking or not. Mm, okay, I'll have whatever he's having. Sure thing. Uh, coffee, lots of ginger. Brew it! Do, 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 do. Doing the same thing twice, but in a different quality. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your order. Good choice. <laughs> anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Mm, same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, those things ch things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe, was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop up? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. Not Curry. Don't call me. Don't ever call me Kermit or I will kill you. Uh, from what I gathered, you're from, from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires... By the way, the one on the right is Mr. Gala is the vampire... Uh, the werewolf is the guy in the middle of the... the whatever his name is, I just completely blacked out on, uh, is a vampire, uh, was signed in... 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, are you talking about the 1860s? Please say something. Please say something. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was wrong. That was the wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, we met in the 1960s. We were old by some race standards, racist standards, but not that old. Although it's still safe to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where were we, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? <laughs> nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? Well, as long as no one discovers I've been using black magic, I think I'll be fine. At the very least, I certainly hope not. Uh, I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. You're a really nice person. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kind of. With the news about that newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. Most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. The man manager managerial pro, pro, uh, office thing. I prefer doing this. Huh. To each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that Blood Marketplace app. Wait, there's a Blood Marketplace app? Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Wait, wait. Uh, blood, wait. Can I, can I download that? Can, can I, can I, can I, can I, uh, 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 I gotta read this at some point. Uh, alright. Uh, uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital? They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. Oh, excuse me. They're, they're just the middlemen with a lot of sales stuff. Uh, use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan life... Vegan... Vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh, yeah. How's your vegan diet doing? It's not easy, but I nothing I can't conquer. Qu conquer. <laughs> uh, excuse me for asking. Don't you mean conquer? <coughs> I mean, by going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? That sounds stupid. Not real blood. Synthetic blood. 
synthetic blood. Do you drink oil? Because if if you're drinking synthetic blood, th then synthetic blood uh, synthetic is made from is a short term for robots, and robots are made from ro oil. So, are you drinking robot oil? Oh my god! It's complicated to explain. Ah, so you didn't say no. Well, basically, some scientists are walk, work, walk, walking. Why can't I speak right? To make my, some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Is it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good if I mixed other ingredients? Not saying black magic, but saying. Hmm, why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? Might attract new customers and turn off others. Fair point. Damn it. Looks like I have to try a different way. Looks like I have to rely more on black magic than I thought. Uh, but honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood, although some do try experimenting, experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. Oh, okay. Uh, but I know I know uh, <clears throat> I know some I know some mix it with not so legal substances, like black magic. <laughs> you know a lot. I, I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly f <laughs> Alright, a little preface, uh, why I'm laughing a little bit. Uh, I kind of read this as furry. Uh, <laughs> and I know it's fury, but what happens next kind of just <laughs> makes, it se makes it more fitting to say. Uh, <laughs> it's funnier because Gala is a werewolf, so y you'll understand. Mm, your monthly furry found a less painful method to restrain yourself. <laughs> Not yet, but I do know that it's a drink. Mm, what kind of drink? A certain a certain combination of ginger and caffeine. <gasps> is that the is that is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one, because there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Well, why don't you use the furry sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative, sedative is too... Uh, general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find, and sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, honest, to be honest. Yeah, at least your coming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to... kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their furry stage. <laughs> <coughs> like what kind of kinky? <laughs> like BDSM? <laughs> that only happens in board. Wait, what? Yeah, like, what would you think, like... <laughs> what makes you think that it's only in porn? Like, come on. Especially with furries. <laughs> it's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, having sex is a calming method. It's pretty calming. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing botted stuff during the furry. <laughs> exactly. So continue with your story. How far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know it is it involves ginger. And probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea. Maybe. You better write that down. You want you won't want him wrecking havoc in the coffee shop. Well, we don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting. Maybe I could try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Uh, excuse me for a moment. I got to text on my phone. I'm texting and looking at my phone.
I'm sorry. I have to go now. <laughs> There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back over. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care of your take care on your way home. Uh, bye bye. So totals. Uh. Ah! <laughs> you came out of nowhere. Hey, hey, uh, are you done with your writing for tonight? Mm, kinda. Those two, those two guys kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a bi 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 tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video do you think I was talking about? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Uh, you. I was just joking. I wasn't thinking about that. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. What? Come on. Come on. I'm a funny guy. I do funny stuff. But you didn't. Uh, you're like, maybe a little bit of black magic here and there. Anyway. It was pretty, pretty, an in, a pretty, uh, a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Don't let any black magic slap you across the ass. Huh. Well. Hmm. Midsummer's night dream, sweet and memorable, like summertime blues. Nice. All right. So, it is the next day. Should I do another episode? Uh, I think I'll hold off right now. I think this is enough material to work off of. But I think I'll do another one shortly. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, yeah, I'll stop it right here. Uh, well, first, let's take a look at the next day's newspaper. We'll do a, probably a recap uh, like tomorrow, or not, not tomorrow, the, the, the next episode. But, uh, all right, here's the newspaper. The, the, oh, the evening whispers. Free of charge. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Stop workplace racial profiling. The Orkish Workers Union demands. We still have brain. <laughs> and other news. Uh, despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies! Oh my god! Vlogging is now part of a curriculum at some private... Really? Vlogging? Okay. I mean, whatever works. I mean, um, as long as it's some sort of news source. But uh, I don't know if it should be a whole curriculum, but uh, I mean, it's interesting enough. So anyway, before we start the day... Uh, we're going to stop it right here. So thanks again for watching another episode of me talking to a microphone <laughs> and doing a bunch of silly voices, playing, uh, voicing a bunch of characters that shouldn't sound as silly as they seem. And uh, like the video if you like what you see. Um, comment on the comment section with whatever you feel like. Uh, with nothing inappropriate. Keep that in mind. And subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I also have a secondary channel called The Kid with the Golden Dub Productions, in which I do a bunch of voice work. As I promoted earlier, right now, the only thing there is Volume 1 of Light and Dark, The Adventures of Dark Yagami. It's more of a uh, dramatic reading, uh, audiobook-esque kind of uh, recording of me, of like reading a, a terrible Death Note fan fiction. Uh, it's funny and also terrible. Uh, but if you want to hear me do more voices, check out that channel. Link is in the description below. And I also have a Twitter page if you want to check me out there or like my uh, Twitter tweet at me or something like that. Uh, it's at a raw battleship um, at a raw battleship on Twitter. It'll also be in the description below. And as always, uh, not quoting from Markiplier, not stealing his outro. <laughs> I don't think I am. Um, uh, be sure to tame your furriness within you. Yeah. And be sure to use the furry sedative when you need to. Because it's important to maintain your furriness. 
uh, when you're out in public so people won't die from from being from having the furry occurring at night. Good night. <laughs>